In this example, I'm going to solve this equation for y, meaning I'm going to isolate y using the rules of algebra on the left side of the equation. In doing so, I think a useful way to think about it is to do what I've said here. We're going to treat the variables, other than the one we're solving for, other than the y, as if they were numbers. So if a were a number here, that's the first thing I would want to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of that, effectively, by dividing both sides by a. So now I have y plus 1 is equal to b over a. And all that remains is to get rid of that plus 1. To, to cancel out a plus 1, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. On the left, that cancels, and I'm left with y is equal to b over a minus 1. Again, when we're solving a literal equation like this, we're not going to expect to get a numerical answer. All we're really doing is rearranging our equation such that the one that we're looking for, in this case y, is isolated, is by itself, on one side of the equation. Usually the left side of the equation is easier to read. But these equations are equivalent, the only difference being this one has y by itself instead of having b by itself as we did up here. Thank you very much.